Lucas Media. Shout out to the ones who support me and the ones who hate me. Uh, I'm trying to combine two videos, but I watched Gills Arena last night. And I watched Two Raw, uh, his platform today as well. And on both platforms, they talked about Bronny and LeBron. And apparently, Adrian Wojnarowski came out and said that Bronny, LeBron playing with Bronny is not a top priority. Now, on both platforms, Gills Arena's and Two Raw, they both, well, Gills Arena's basically was saying that the Lakers should bring in a JJ Redick or, and, and Bronny, honestly, or and Bronny. And shout out to um, what, Rashad McCann. He the only one. He be keeping it real on there. You know, you can't never really cr criticize LeBron, but, you know, I respect him for that. But, you know, the Lakers don't know what they're going to do. And they're just trying to figure out, of course, they need a scapegoat, which is going to probably be Darvin Ham. But let me let me touch on, on a couple of these subjects. When it comes to J.J. Redick, if J.J. Redick becomes the head coach, with no coaching experience to my knowledge in the NBA, I will honestly, in my opinion, believe that Clutch Sports is really running things. So when people call the GM and all of that, I, I, I really can't argue that. Because it's funny that they got a podcast together. And I'm telling you, if they have a podcast together and JJ Reddick's the coach, wow. You know, I ain't gonna be mad, but it's just, I mean, we're gonna call a spade a spade. Now when it comes to Bronny. I think it's not LeBron's. I don't think LeBron. I think he does want to play with Bronny, but I do think that he knows that Bronny needs at least one to two more years. And I think LeBron honestly is going to sign a multi-year agreement, whatever team he's with. Which I think it's time for him to retire. You know, you've been in the league 21 years. What else less you got to prove? But whatever. He want to keep playing. It is what it is. But I, I think that people are, I think he's realizing, okay, Bronny needs more time. And it's okay. I mean, what's one more year? I get it. You got five the time on the clock. But, you know, take some, take some, uh, like how you took a month off after you, when you're scoring title, take some time off. You already got 40-some thousand points. You ain't got anything else to prove. Take some time off. Um, and, you know, be fresh and get your legs, get your legs fresh and then try to get Bronny to play in the draft next year but who knows we don't know i seen some choices where Bronny had like four different schools i don't know if that as options i don't know if that's true or isn't true and i really think that we're not going to know what the world going on until i think they got until what the day of the draft or somewhere around that to stay eligible so who knows what they're going to do i'm sure they're going to wait to the last minute to tell people and one more thing, a lot of y'all think I hate LeBron. I don't, I I admire what most of LeBron does. I don't like the whole media narrative, and you can't question them, but I like LeBron, and I like Bronny, and I would not mind seeing them play in the NBA. I just think that it needs more time. And when it comes to the whole J.J. Redick thing, I mean, come on now. No experience to a head coach of the Los Angeles Lakers. But again, Genie Bus, they're gonna they're gonna try to figure out whatever LeBron wants. What, what you want, LeBron? You want a plane, a new mansion? Do we need to figure out how to get Bronny in the, the top pick in the second round? What do you need from us? But if I was Genie Bus, I would cut bait, honestly, at this point. I mean, y'all clearly not gonna win no more titles with LeBron there. Blow the team up, blow it up, and you know, either try to attract star players or how many more do they got? What three more years till they get first round pick? Something like that. You try to build a team that way. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. What y'all think?